Is there one camera I should be looking at or? Yeah, okay. For me, it was about just playing sports and just getting out there and kind of doing, just staying active, doing what you can, uh, you know, signing up for volleyball, soccer, karate, anything that could just get you out of class <laughs> just to play some sports. And, you know, I think, uh, I kind of remember a breakthrough moment for me was about when I played in, uh, I was playing junior boys basketball and we were in our city championship game in grade 10. And I remember, you know, that nervous feeling you get before a game. And for some reason I had that feeling. And usually when the game starts, that feeling goes away, but I had it the whole game. And it was just a, it was kind of a surreal moment because I remember we lost and I felt like I wasn't as prepared as I should have been. I felt like, you know, there was more I could have done. And I remember going into that summer of going into grade 11, I kind of just put all the other sports aside and said, let me just see how far I can go with basketball. As time went on, I felt more comfortable playing the sport and realized that I wanted to take it to the, take it to the next level. Charles Kissy told me before, during training camp, that Johnny B, he said, and you can say this, is the most underrated guy to come out of U Sports. He is one of the best scorers he's ever seen. Johnny Brahana Mescal, Johnny B, Johnny Buckets, Johnny everything. You know, every day I feel like someone's saying, this team's the new favorite, this team's not that good, and then the next day someone else beats someone, right? So I think, uh, that goes to show how much talent there is in this tournament and uh, you know how, how far Canada basketball has come. And you know, initially everyone wanted to come in and try and get the bye and try and get that extra rest. So we kind of just got to make sure we're playing our best basketball in the next couple of days. The ice bath is going to feel nice tonight because the Ottawa Blackjacks in their inaugural season have booked their ticket to semifinal Saturday. They will be taking on the number one seed, Edmonton Stingers, thanks to an 83-75 win over the Guelph Nighthawks. And those three teams, it was a war, and we came out on top, all right? Now we get to rest, and we get ready to reload and go back to war, all right? Good job, good job, here we go. Together on three, one, two, three. Together. I'm the youngest of four siblings and uh, my two parents, they kind of, uh, they came to Canada about 30 years ago. They played a big part of my life just because, you know, they sacrificed a lot to come to Canada. My dad came to Canada and, you know, he's a taxi driver. Um, he's never complained about changing his lifestyle. He's, you know, someone that's up at four in the morning and would come back at 8 p.m. at night. And, you know, he was just happy to provide for his family and, you know, my mom, was working initially and then she decided to, you know, raise the kids in the house. And, you know, I think I've kind of took a bit of both of their personalities in terms of my dad's work ethic. And then for my mom, I, I love like her sociable skills and just her ability to relate and, you know, help people out. I think that's something that I try to, you know, try to carry with me on a daily basis. When you're away from them for eight to 10 months at a time, you miss out on a lot of things. For them to even be able to watch a game right now in August is unheard of compared to where we were a couple months ago.